Hey, I'm Ben from Best Life Adventures and also a Wild Earth Ambassador. Today, I want to talk to you about two Architerix jackets, which I've been using over the last few years. The Architerix SV, the Alpha SV, which I take every single year on our trip to Norway in the Arctic Circle. We get temperatures down to about minus 40. Um, so this really thick, heavy-duty Gore-Tex is pretty epic at keeping out all of those really intense winds that we get out there and those freezing temperatures. It's beautiful because it's really breathable, but it's heavy-duty Gore-Tex. You need to have all those zips operated at all times because it is very easy to sweat in the Arctic, and when you sweat out there, it is a danger because then you get the moisture and you get cold really quickly. But today, we're not talking about the Alpha SC. This is the jacket that I just used for a week in very Australian alpine conditions. So this is the Architerix Beta AR all around the jacket. Um, a much more lightweight Gore-Tex, but still really epic of what it's done. The temperatures we had down there were probably around about um, three degrees down to about minus two at night. But we had a real mixture of you know Australian high altitude alpine conditions. So snow overnight, sleet during the day, almost rain at times as well when the temperatures warmed up. Um, and this jacket has been pretty damn epic in a way because nothing from the outside has got through. None of the rain, none of the snow has got through to me. Um, and I've worn very little underneath it. I've probably only worn a, a 150 or a 280 at the most merino base layer. Um, and when you've got that little underneath, you really need to, when you're starting the day cold, have a jacket that is going to lock away all of that cold weather because the old phrase, be bold, start cold, Quite hard to do in the morning when you're heading out. We were doing cross-country skiing. So having only one merino base layer and this jacket on the top felt like it was a cold start. But keeping those winds and keeping that cold outside of the jacket was really important. And then as soon as the day started, being able to unzip these kit zips to get that ventilation in there, these are key to regulating your body temperature. So opening the front up, letting the air in, letting the air into the pit zips was a really important part of it. Um, there are a couple of times on the trail where we were skiing, cross-country skiing up some of the mountains. And as we got higher and higher and the elements got worse and worse, the wind picked up. We got some sort of ridge lines where the wind was really whipping through. Um, and having this really functional jacket zip go around the front and all of these draw cords means that you can really sort of lock your face away from all of the elements, especially when you combine that with a ski goggle in here, nothing would get through and leak through. Um, the Australian conditions mean as well that things are getting wet. It's really easy to stay dry in the Arctic because the temperatures are so damn cold, nothing gets wet. But when you're in Australian conditions, which are probably more dangerous than being in the Arctic, these things like these tape zips of all of the pockets are super important, you know? Having a pocket inside, because everybody likes it on social media, having a pocket inside to hide your camera and your phone away is really important too. So in short, if you're looking at a jacket, it's going to be bulletproof for Australian alpine conditions. That slightly warmer, slightly wetter snowfall that you're going to get. This sort of jacket, the Beta AR, is absolutely bulletproof. If you go into high altitude, if you go to colder temperatures, then something like this, the Alpha SV, the severe weather jacket, is probably better for it. But whatever you decide you're going to go and do, get into Wild Earth, go and talk to people in there. Um, put your comments in the box below. If you've got your own opinion on what you think the best Alcaterra's jacket is and where you've used it, stick some comments in the box below.